Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum students. How are you all? I hope you will be fine by the grace of Allah Almighty. Dear students, we have done a reading and explanation of unit 2 animals. Today, we are going to do some activities on page 13, 14 and 15. So, let's begin our today's lesson. So dear students open up your science book page 13 and here are some activities what you have to do is you have to learn how to draw the animals and you have to color also. So how you can uh, learn to draw these animals by uh, you just have to pick a pencil in your hands and just trace the animals outline uh, drawn on your page 13 and then try to uh, draw it after two or three um, attempts of uh, may just tracing these animals what you have to do you have to uh, try to do it or draw uh, to try to draw these animals outline on any rough notebook or uh, plain paper uh, drawing notebooks okay okay now what you have to do on this page you just have to color these animals uh, whatever you like okay so do it now open up your page 14 here you can find or you can see three questions question number two question number three and question number four in question two you have to match the farm animals to the work it does okay you just have to uh, there are two columns given uh, in first column animals name written farm animals name like camel sheep hen horse cow and goat and in second work column here written lays eggs pulls a cart gives us milk gives us meat carries heavy loads gives us wool so what you have to do first you have to read first animal's name and it is camel and then you have to think about it that during explanation i told you that camel carries heavy loads what work does the camel do camel carries heavy loads so you have to match by drawing a line with this second last word uh, words are there carries a heavy loads you have to match it with the camel by drawing a line to match it okay second sheep so i told you sheep gives us wool yes we can get wool to make woolen clothes out of sheep so sheep gives us wool and in second column last words are gives us wool so with sheep you have to draw a line to towards this gives us wool and match it third is hen and you all like to eat uh, eggs uh, so from where we can get eggs hen yes so hen lays eggs first words in second column work lays eggs so you have to match hen with lays eggs horse what we have read about the a horse a horse yes pulls a cart horse pulls a cart horse pulls a cart in work second words are pulls a cart so you have to match horse with pulls a cart next is cow what does cow give us cow gives us milk you all drink cow's milk so cow gives us milk it's third words in work column gives us milk now last is goat goat what does goat give us goat give us meat yes we eat the mutton so that's goat's meat so goat gives us meat 
okay so dear students these are all the farm animals or you can say useful animals and we have read during the uh, reading and explanation about useful animals that some animals are very much useful for us some give us eggs meat milk some pulls a cart and carry heavy lo uh, loads and some give us wool so here you have to match the correct animal with the correct work they do okay camel carries heavy load i'm repeating sheep gives us wool hen lays eggs horse pull a cart cow gives us milk goat gives us meat okay i hope you have done now let's uh, look at question number three and it is write yes or no here are sentences written sentence a b c d and e and what you have to do is you just have to read the sentence and write yes if the sentence is correct and write on the blank given and write no if the sentence is incorrect okay so first sentence is birds crawl birds crawl no insects crawl not birds birds can fly because uh, an animal that has feathers and two wings is called a bird so birds cannot crawl they can walk they can fly okay the main thing is fly birds can fly so birds uh, do not crawl so it is wrong you have to write on the blank no b sentence monkey climb trees monkey climb trees yes monkeys climb trees yes obviously of course they climb trees so it's yes frogs swim in water yes frogs can swim in water seahorses run no horses can run but seahorses cannot run because seahorses are the animals water animals okay they live in water so they don't run they just swim in water they live in water so seahorses run no lions eat grass no why because lion is a meat eater it's a carnivorous and it eats the meat of the small animals or other animals so lion eats uh, lions eat grass is no because is it uh, it is an incorrect sentence okay so dear students i hope you have done this also now let's go towards question number 4 in this question you just have to write the names of the insects and you have to color them okay first picture you can see it is the picture of an ant second picture is uh, of a, a butterfly and third picture is of ladybird and i have pasted some uh, picture of ladybird ant and butterfly for your convenience to you can look at it and write the names by looking at it uh, here on the blank given okay so you can color it take the idea of coloring uh, from these pictures i have pasted write the names by looking at these names on these blanks okay dear students so that's it it was page number 14 we have done and in the next class we will do page number 15 exercises okay so allah hafiz for today and take care